hello guys and welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in i greet you all according to your time and if you're yet to subscribe kindly hit on the uh, subscription button and the notification bell so as to be notified whenever i post new videos all right guys this is a question and answer video that i'm about to make i have some questions that were sent to me via my dm on instagram and i'm going to answer them i think about five questions so yeah, the first question is, I have sunburns and I cannot get rid of it. No matter what I use, it just worsens the situation. What can I do to remove it? All right, guys, see, first of all, sunburn is as a result of you exposing your face to the sun. You're obviously using a lightning uh, face product and you're going into the sun without using protection which is sunblock or spf okay so you're gonna get some bonds okay so for now all i can advise is this whatever lightning product you're using during the day stop using it start using just a moisturizer like nothing lightning whatsoever then you use a sun block when you're going out you can use um you use the cream first then apply the sunburn uh, a sunscreen, sun cream on your cheek where you have the problem because the cheeks are prone to sunburns more than any other parts of our face because the flesh there is thin and it's closer to the bone structure so apply sunscreen before your makeup okay if you want to use your lightning cream under the sun i'll still advise the same thing that you apply sunscreen before going out it doesn't matter if the sun is shining even if it's just a dull day the sun penetrates through the cloud and can give you sunburns as well. And the next question is, I have a, I am chocolate, I am chocolate to be precise. Sorry, I'm just trying to read. Maybe it's a typing error. I am chocolatey skin to be precise. I need a face toner that will not lighten my skin just to make my skin smooth. Okay, this is very easy. I know sometimes it's complicated to choose a specific product, especially when you go shopping. You see a lot on the counter that says they do a whole lot of things. So there are a few of uh, what I call it uh, facial toner I can recommend. Doesn't mean they are the best, but they are good. They are okay, and they will not lighten your skin. I'll put the put them uh, up on the screen so you see. But if you just want to make your own, say like a DIY, I'll suggest that you use um, rose water, rose water and satated, satated or something like that. I'll put the picture there. You can use that one. When you use it, the ratio should be 70-30. The satated should be 30 and the uh, rose water should be 70. In other words, you can use a spoon to measure, a tablespoon. Put three spoons of the satated then seven spoon of the rose water so that's 70 30. you can use that and it will not lighten your skin rather it will make your skin glow it will make your face smooth and it will not give it any lightening if it will just make it really smooth and really glowing and brightening and if you have spots it will raise the spots for you without giving you any lightening in your face that's for you if you're chocolate skin these are some of the ones I can recommend that I have used to make uh, for a few of my clients that are chocolatey skin. One is this uh, Zaron, Zaron, Skin by Zaron. If it's not so clear, I'm using the light from my window. Skin by Zaron Ultimate Glow is very good as well for a chocolate skin person. And Johnson Fresh Hydration is also good as well. So these two can work very well. You don't have to dilute it with anything or you can make yours that can I recommended so this is very good for chocolatey skin as a toner as well. and the next question is I have a dry face what oil can I mix with my face cream without having a greasy face and not having breakouts okay with the dry face is different for a dry face person and an oily face person so the dry face person can use oils that the oily face person cannot use okay so for the dry face I'll suggest argan oil grapeseed oil sunflower oil Uhuba oil okay and when you use this oil just be very specific with the quantity i don't know what uh, what quantity of cream face cream you're mixing so i can't suggest quantity for you but you have to use drops 
you know let's say for instance 50 grams uh, face cream you cannot use up to a teaspoon no you have to use like maybe 10 drops or 15 drops or 50 grams of face cream so these oils are the oils that is good for your face as a dry uh, skin face spray uh, the next question I have is I'm using white now body lotion and I realized that it's giving me stretch marks because I never had stretch marks before but I like the cream I like the tone it's giving me except for the stretch marks what can I add to white now as to not get uh, stretch marks this white now uh, body lotion I've had several complaints about it in fact if it left to me I won't even touch it but you say you like the result it's giving you and uh, you're happy with it except for the stretch mark so that means there's something about this cream that your skin doesn't agree with okay now there are products like that as well like carol white and carotene that you can use uh, and people complain about stretch marks so my advice is you can mix it with a uh, she butter and uh, but she butter darkens somehow so you can either mix it with a uh, mango butter or she butter and you can add a bit of coconut oil in it now when you had this product you might not get that lighting you used to get but it will still lighten you but the good thing is that you won't have the stretch marks like before so you can't hit your cake and have it so it's either you put the she butter mango butter add some coconut oil and if you have shalom oil as well you can add shalom oil to the uh white now lotion so to help with prevention of stretch marks then again if you already have the stretch marks apply the wire shalom uh oil sometimes on its own on that stretch mark so as to help you reduce the appearance of the stretch marks and the last but not the least question is i intend to make a body scrub with sugar what can i add to it without having to lighten my skin i just want my skin to glow okay a simple body scrub consists of sugar because you need that coarse granule to scrub to remove the old skin layer, dead skin layer. Then you can uh, melt shea butter and add to it. And you can add uh, coconut oil, especially if you don't want any lightning, coconut oil and uh, shea butter. You can even add boots, a little bit of boots, and put an uh, adequate amount to the consistency that you want the scrub to be. You mix small amounts first, check how the consistency is. When you're satisfied with the consistency, then you can add a, you can add a orange peel. Orange peel is good. And you can add a small turmeric. Don't add too much turmeric because it might stain your hands when you scrub it, stain the walls of your bathroom. And you had a turmeric and you had a very good uh, essential oil, tea oil, lavender, or any fragrance. And just mix it to the consistency you want then you can add milk powder as well if you have good milk powder or just normal powder that we consume you can add that as well and your body scrub is ready it's as simple as that as long as you don't want it for skin lightening that recipe is perfect for you. and with that guys that's all the questions I have for today and the answers so do well to send in all your questions to my Instagram DM. The Instagram handle will be posted there so you take a look at it. Any questions whatsoever you have about your skin, feel free to send it to my DM and I'll do my best to answer. So guys, on Mondays will be my question and answer day. I'll post a video answering the questions I receive on my in my DM on Instagram. So if you have any questions, feel free to send it in and I'll do my best to answer them. So with that said, guys, please, please, please hit the subscription button, the notification bell, so you get notified whenever I post amazing new videos. So I'll see you all in my next video. Amazing videos are coming. Like, you don't want to miss out. <laughs> you don't want to miss out, okay? So guys, stick with me and click on that notification bell so you get notified. So with that said, guys, I'll see you in my next video.